Does it ever seem to you this presidential campaign has gotten out of control? I mean, not just out of control, but careening off the main highway down side roads into swamps and forests and all kinds of strange places. I feel that way several times a day. In fact, I sat down just to make a list of some of the things that uh, have marked this long, strange trip that we're calling the 2016 race. The size of his hands or the size of something else. Wiping the server with a cloth. Pneumonia. Basket of deplorables. Mexican rapist, blood coming out of her wherever. Look at that face, a six-foot portrait. Russian hackers, the Scooby van, nude modeling photos, disgustingly dishonest media, birtherism, Lee Harvey Oswald, Howard Stern, the Pope, uh, cocaine, Mexican-American rapists, Mexican-American judge, Kaiser Khan, Rosie O'Donnell, Monica Lewinsky, Miss Universe, and now, as of Friday, a sex tape. Yes, this is where we are in the 2016 race. Of course, the backstory here is that Hillary Clinton, uh, in the first debate, brought up Miss Universe from 20 years ago, Alicia Machado, Machado, excuse me, and uh, said that Donald Trump had uh, scolded her after she won the crown to lose some weight. And um, she'd become a citizen. She's going to vote. And, you know, Hillary was able to score some points with that. The next morning on Fox and Friends, Trump brought it up himself, punched back, said, yeah, she needed to lose some weight. Although I guess he disputes the notion that he called her Miss Piggy and Miss Housekeeping. OK, so it seemed for 24 hours is going to be one of these sideshows. And then we all kind of move on. Then came Friday. And a series of early morning tweets, some as early as three in the morning, which Trump attacked Alicia Machado uh, and said she um, doesn't have a good reputation. Check out sex tape. And was Hillary duped in bringing her up? OK, check out sex tape. That phrase to the modern world of media is like catnip. So everybody checked out the sex tape. No, everybody wrote about it. Everybody broadcast about it. Everybody blogged about it and tweeted about it. Now, in the interests of journalistic accuracy, I did check out the so-called sex tape reported by Radar Online. It's not a sex tape. It's from 10 years ago. Uh, Machado was in this Spanish TV reality show. She and an actor were going at it being filmed under the covers. You couldn't see anything. So it didn't fit my definition of a sex tape. But the real question here is this. Why is Donald Trump, with less than 40 days to go in the election, still beating up on this woman who no one had ever heard of, who was Miss Universe 20 years ago? How does that help him? How does that help him with women voters in particular? Uh, now there's this whole national conversation about women and weight and fat shaming. This, the pattern here, we saw this uh, with uh, the Gold Star family at the Democratic Convention and in other instances, is that when Trump is hit, he hits back and then he hits back some more. He keeps, he can't walk away from a fight. And in some ways, you know, that's a, a good aggressive quality for a politician to have. But if the fights aren't helping you, if you, the Republican presidential nominee, are continuing to stoke um, a media uh, uproar here and to fan the flames by continuing to battle with a woman who's a beauty contest winner from two decades ago, how is that helping you win the presidency? And so we're back to the old debate about, you know, can Trump be disciplined? Why isn't he focusing in these final weeks on the economy and ISIS and health care and taxes and the things that Americans care about? It's not that Americans don't care about this. It's a great sideshow, but it's a sideshow. And so we have reached a point in the presidential campaign where it's now, in addition to everything else, about a so-called sex tape.